Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am still working on the documentary, but I wanted to give you an update on parkettes. For those who are not subscribed to The Morning Call, I have attached some screenshots with this. A recent article came out on February 27th from the parents' point of view who sent their children to parkettes. Here's a summary of this article. Parents reflect on their time at parkettes a facility that continues to strain family bonds years after leaving the Allentown gym. Parents state they struggle themselves at times, and they question their judgment in sending their daughters to train at parkettes, which one described as a meat grinder. Most of their parents interviewed between 2013 to 2016 time period, stating that their gymnasts left with eating disorders, depression, anxiety, and, in one severe case, a suicide attempt. Two of the women, who still work with nutritionists to this day, address eating disorders that they developed at Parkettes. One gymnast, who is now in college, was told that she looked like she had swallowed a beach ball. She was 12. Parents also discussed the affiliation agreement with the local osteopathic surgeon, someone who would pass along MRIs and X-rays to Parkettes before parents. One mother recalls arguing with the coaches over her daughter's recovery from injuries and that there is a conflict over whether her daughter should be treated by a doctor that her parents would choose or by the recommended surgeon that they were partnered with. Those who went to the surgeon would recall a feeling that they felt cut out to the decisions about their daughter's care and that Parkett's would make decisions for them. While I did my research weeks ago, I did find this video and I forgot to link it but I immediately thought of this. At the time, I didn't think it was going to be of much value. As you can see, though, there are different titles. Ortho is generally related to the musculoskeletal system, and osteo is typically related to bone health. And if I remember correctly, an osteopathic surgeon is pretty similar to a medical doctor, but I think their criteria is a little different. Um, it could be possible that this person works for the facility, since there's a lot of body systems that cross one another in the medical field. But if not, this means that Parkettes have an affiliation with two medical facilities, instead of one that they've stated. Parkettes consumed our lives for years, one mother said from the article. Another recalls that they struggled to find another gym if her daughter didn't want to quit, because there were none nearby that she would get the level of training for. The safe sport investigation has reopened wounds, even as it brings hope for change, some parents say. To this day, when we contacted to speak with safe sport investigator, who is currently on the investigation, it all came back because it's been dealt with, but it's not really been dealt with. So, of course, there's a lot to process for what I just said. Um, of course, we see some similarities between gyms that I've discussed in the past with parents' accusations, and it's not bad to have an affiliation with medical staff, in my opinion. Gage has one, and it seems pretty successful to my knowledge. Um, I know the affiliation is pretty high rated as one of the best hospitals in Kansas City, um, but it definitely sounds like this may or may not have been the case for Parkettes. Um, I will, of course, provide updates when they come up as I continue to work on some of these projects. But I just wanted to share this with all of you since this is an ongoing investigation.